In this morning's Health Watch, cancer and the aging population. There are nearly 12 million cancer survivors in this country, four times as many as just 40 years ago. Which sounds pretty good. 60% of survivors, it turns out, are over the age of 65. That's a number that's expected to increase by 42% over the next decade. And as survivors live longer, their needs will be changing, as one survivor tells us. My name is Nancy Boozer. I am 58 years old, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1996. I just started crying and the first thing I said was, this is just so unfair. You know, why me? So I made the decision to do a partial mastectomy. Everything was going along fine until about 1999 when I detected a slight pain in my right hip. And my doctor ordered a, a bone scan and uh, it came back that there was a uh, spot of cancer on my right hip and on my right shoulder. So I got the news that it had metastasized. I will be 59 this year, and I remember starting this journey, and I had uh, turned 43. So I just see the years, you know, going by. And you're dealing with arthritis, you have sciatic nerve pain, you get uh, more acid indigestion, you know, you try to stay away from the spicy foods. You know, things like that. As the time goes by and I see that I'm living longer, I'm still fairly healthy, the doctors keep telling me that I'm stable, it gives me a lot of hope. And you love to hear that there is hope out there. Kim Thibodeau is CEO of the Cancer Support Community. It's a nonprofit agency that helps cancer patients across the U.S. Great to have you with us this morning. Good morning. And it's wonderful to hear that there are higher survivor rates. But as we're learning from Nancy and other folks, obviously, as you go on, when you're done with your cancer treatments, your needs don't end. So, so what are some of the medical needs specifically that cancer survivors face? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we were releasing a study today of more than 1,000 breast cancer survivors. What these survivors are telling us is that there are a host of side effects and issues that they're dealing with with cancer. Uh, they're dealing with things like fatigue, uh, sleeplessness. They're thinking, they're thinking about worry about the future. How do I manage this? But with a senior population, it becomes more complicated because we're also dealing with things like diabetes, heart disease, uh, all of these different issues. We have 77 million baby boomers in this country who are going to be getting cancer and dealing with all of those other conditions. So it does get pretty complex. You've got cancers like female breast cancer, uh, mm -hmm. colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, which in years past had very low survival rates, but now that seems to be changing with these studies. What is it about these cancers that now more people are surviving? Well, we're seeing great shifts in screening, great shifts in treatment. I mean, look at the cancers you name. Breast cancer, we're doing mammograms. Colon cancer, we're doing colonoscopies. A PSA, obviously, some yeah. interesting mixed news lately. <laughs> yeah. But we have screenings for these cancers. Plus, we're seeing these awareness campaigns. People are getting educated. People are getting empowered. They're going out and getting their screenings. And that's leading to an improvement in the survival rates. And that's because catching it early really is the key in so many cases, The key, right? absolutely. We have to catch it early. That is how we are able to manage the, the disease in the short term and in the long term. And what should these cancer survivors and doctors be looking for as they move forward with their care? Well, we try to tell folks, take, take the approach of medicine, mind, and body, right? So you have to get with your doctor to make good treatment decisions. We're, we found that only in this study, 15% of patients who went into their doctor got any information from the team beforehand. So we're going to help patients to get educated, get that information, and help them make decisions before they go in mind we've got to address the social and emotional issues in our study 87 percent of patients were dealing with emotional issues fear uh, anxiety worry about the future and the body especially the baby boomers they want to exercise mm -hmm. they want tips about nutrition healthy lifestyle when you put all that together that leads for better outcomes for cancer patients especially as we look at this aging population taking care of the whole package so important yeah. really great to have you yeah. with us and this a great morning. attitude like yours I mean, yes. a positive <laughs> message it goes a long way and we, it we, does. sometimes we lose sight of that it okay. does. thank you so much thank Thanks you